Lesson learned from speaking at our meetups. Because I thought this could be interesting from you. Uh, this game, there is no universal truth in what I say. This is what is valid for me. So it might be applied, but it's not necessarily. So I will always be nervous. And it starts already the day before the meetup. I get excited and so. And then when I have a job, I pack my things and I, on the way, I start to become nervous. And it's possible to get used to it. So the first times, meetups, it was horrible, but now I know it already, right? I know I will become excited. And I tried to not to care so much. I mean, what shall happen? So far, I survived. Nothing bad happened. So you can get used to it, too. I need to prepare slides on time. So this is me. I cannot say, OK, this what I plan to do is three weeks, and so I will do it next week, because then I will get stress. I do not really believe this. I made my presentation overnight the day before the conference. Um, I do believe that people have something ready. I do believe they work until the last, last moment before they go on stage. I don't do this. I make this done, and then I don't look at it anymore, because you could always change something. I get self-expectations right. What do I mean with this? I need to remember that speaking is a hobby, so I don't need to be perfect. This is the uh, first thing, oh, if I go to stage, people will compare me with YouTube, so no, it's not the case, right? And especially here at the meetup group, this is a uh, perfect place, right? So this is not a conference where people pay thousands euros, dollar to attend. I would be a little bit more stressed. I would feel to deliver something of value if someone pays me to the ticket to go to CPPCon. If CPPCon would pay me the ticket, I would feel stressed. I don't need to feel stressed here. It's actually a wrong self-expectation. Hmm. In fact, this is helpful. As everything in life, you need to train. Right? So. I can, yeah, I have nothing to add, about, except that user groups is this a perfect place to get some training and practice in speaking. And it helped me a lot these last two years, they helped. And people that can remember how I spoke two years ago, they will know the difference. About talks, the first version of a talk is very likely not the best one. There are always exceptions to rules, but if we are unsure, test it or make it the other way around, take this area to test it. It helps to test a talk in front of people that ask questions. It's much better than just the audience that, that just listen because you don't get a lot of feedback. When, but, and again, here that this meetup is a good place because usually you get a lot of questions. If I give the same talk at the meetup and at the job, I get very few questions at the job, I get a lot of my <laughs> questions here. So you can really, and then it, you, you think about often that the simple things in the presentation, oh, I didn't think about this, triggered by a question. So this is very useful. It's OK to try out something. So if you look at the presentation I've given, I've tried several things. Some worked out good, some not so good. Um, if it doesn't work, who cares? I mean, I, I will not do a 90-minute presentation and try out something. There is, I could, I could bring a reference to, to the talks I've saw, seen. But 10 minutes, 15 minutes, try something. What is if I present something in this style? What is if I prepare information this way? Again, meetups like this are exactly the place to do so. Prepare well. Of course, you should know a little bit what you're talking about. Um, I try to know the topic as good as is possible for me. But I have also to realize I'm sitting here together with people that are skilled. And there's always someone who will know something I don't know. And that's totally OK. If I get a question, I cannot answer. 
I don't need to be the super guru. And I also learned to not over prepare what to say. So this is when I have a slide and a title and I sit at home, I, I will tell this and I will tell this and I will tell this and I have a two fixed picture what I want to tell to a certain slide, I will forget the part. And then I will be either distracted two slides later when I say, oh, I didn't tell this. Or I will be distracted during the slide when I have, oh, I wanted to tell three things to this slide. Right? So I've learned also to, to get not a too fixed picture of what to talk about. And I do not need to, uh, to know everything. I already mentioned it a little bit. Chances that someone here knows something I don't know. They're here. And it's fine. Actually, there is each presentation where I got feedback or questions or so, I learned something. So I go away from a talk and I know more than before. And this is good. So it's also a little bit selfish to stand here. It's okay. Yes, this is also something. Keep presentation simple. Too high goals are problematic. Of course, always want to show the best and to, to deliver the best, but keep it realistic. Yeah. Topics like explanations, it does not need to be simple, but if it looks simple and people get it, then it's good. And this is unbelievable hard. But keep it simple. Keep the technical setup simple. Cornell unfortunately already went away, but I have high respect of doing such, such a thing. I would not do it. I would make a, a video and show you a video because I would freak out, nervous. I would sweat in my fingers. I wouldn't be able to deal with the keyboard. So this technique might not work as expected. There's also, I've seen, I think Arno had a preview to the next slide and the I tested this also for me, it distracted me actually. I also, what is what comes next? What comes next? If I don't know what comes next, who cares? But yeah. All this, I mean, the, who has been when this uh, Biden interaction, what was his name? Thomas Nieberg, I think. Uh, right? Fine. Yeah, where he had this, this performance test. I mean, he managed this, this situation. Excellent on stage, but these things happen. Yeah, <laughs> you want to show something that doesn't work at expense. Stay focused also during the easy parts of a presentation. This is something I had to learn. Um, I say something sometimes easy things wrong, and I'm totally blown away by this. But I have it on video, right? So I have no tip. I don't know how to ensure this to stay focused, but this happens. I, I edit the videos right, and uh, I see it and this is not what I wanted to say. Oh, oh my God, I said the wrong words. I mean, it's, I have a language cows in my head through Swedish and English and both uh, other languages. Yeah, and especially by the easy part. So stay focused. Take feedback well. Listen to what people tell you. Ask also. I have turned off the anonymous feedback because I don't like it actually. I like when people tell me and no one should be afraid to tell me something. But and I also don't take it too serious, right? So I, I, I know I cannot make something that works for everyone. What works for one person might not work for another person, right? Some persons want the super complex things on the screen that they Oh, what, what is this? And so other persons want, don't want this. They get distracted and they, they will feel intimidated. So I need to find a balance. And when it's good for me, then hopefully also for other. If possible, get a recording. This is where we try to make the recording. It's actually primary where we started with this. It was to get a feedback for the speakers. It helps to learn when you watch it. It's hard to watch yourself. So seeing, seeing, hearing yourself on video, it's everyone is, oh my God, oh my God, it's terrible. Right? I know the first recording we do, my voice was on the video and I didn't edit this one, but I think Paul was it and it was, so, oh my God, you, you hear me on this video, you need to cut away the last seconds because my voice you can hear. <laughs> it's, yeah, but this experience is also, but watch it, you can learn something. Or seeing that you say something wrong. <laughs> Yeah. And finally, it shall be fun. Right. 
So it's maybe some strange kind of fun, but I mean, we are C++ developers. <laughs> we should relate to this. And with this, I hope you also tried this, and thanks for listening.